It's not LA out there. It's not. It's not California at all. It's okay. That's our advantage. Uh, you know, Ty took off his jersey during the start of practice yesterday. I have no idea why. And there's like steam just billowing from him. Uh, yeah, you know, Ty, Ty's a he's a special character. You know, he he acts like he does, he's not phased by the cold, but I know deep down he probably is a little bit. But uh, he does it each and every day. Like even today, he's out there with no sleeves on. It was raining. And I don't. That's hey, I don't know. More than him, I can't do it. I'll be out there in the hoodie. <laughs> Kind of a difference that David Montgomery will make in the run game. Uh, yeah, he's a key uh, key piece for them. Um, you know, they may miss him for you know the beginning the beginning portion of the season, and when we first play them. Uh, but now that he's back, you could you could tell that he's ready to go. He's feeling good. He's feeling healthy. Um, watching the film, he's a very you know a very good back. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good one-two punch that they have over there with him and um, the, other, the other back. Um, He's a he's an elite player, like like I keep saying. So um, we'll, we'll stick to our game plan, continue to do what we got to do, um, fly around. But we 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 definitely have our eyes on him. What did you do during your bye week? And uh, was it good just to get away? It was. Um, I did get out of here for a little bit. Uh, ended up going to uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, I wanted to get some sun. Um, it wasn't as much sun as I liked, but um, it was definitely good to get some warmth, um, get a chance to kind of unplug. Be around some family for a little bit, so it was definitely, definitely good timing in the bye week and, and, and very, very well used. Back to the running backs, how does he compare um, st style wise uh, with with Herbert? Uh, like I said, they're a one-two punch. Um, they very, you know, they both have you know things that they do well, both in the pass game and the run game. Um, you know, Montgomery is a very downhill runner. He runs behind his pads. Um, and once you see something, he he hits at full speed. Um, so he's one of those players you got you got to watch out for. We got to make sure that we're sound in everything that we do, or um, they'll make us pay. You know him and Herbert. So um, like I said, we just got to you know continue to do our job and, and be sound in what we do. Hey Chris, it's one thing for you know veteran guys to come in like Rasul did, you know even Whitney when he was healthy and be able to contribute like that. But why do you think the defense has allowed you know? Why has it been so malleable to where you've been able to bring in new guys and still sort of be able to continue on this path of being kind of a top 10 unit? Um, you know, I think it's just how we embrace each other. Um, you know, from the, from the start of camp with new guys coming in to shoot even now if new guys come in, we, we're going to embrace anybody that we have that steps, in this, that steps foot into this building. Um, we treat everybody like family. We want the best for everybody that's on the field. We want everybody to succeed. So um, we, don't, we don't hide nothing. We don't share, we don't, we, we like to share everything. Um, you know, we tell everybody the tips. You know, we, we make sure that everyone's ready to go once it's time to step on that field. And I think that's what we do a good job, job of as far as from the top down, from coaching staff to uh, even, you know, players. Um, just trying to, looking out for one another um, and having that feel. I think we're, we're getting there now where you have that feel of comfortability playing uh, whoever we're next to. Um, you know, just whether it's in practice, mixing, mixing roles or whatever it might be, it's just we have a comfort, comfortability level that's pretty high right now. Chris, assuming you know Dre's going to be back for Sunday night, are, yeah. are, you, are you handling the dot and the calls, you know, all this week? Uh, during practice? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm handling uh, most of the calls. Um, so like all the single linebacker stuff, I'm, I'm doing. But um, yeah, hopefully we get Dre back. Uh, if not, then you know um, I'll, I'll step in and, and do what we got to do to secure the win. But um, you know, um, I'm excited to get him back. I, I believe I talked to him either yesterday or a couple days ago. He said he's feeling pretty well. So um, definitely looking forward to get back in the building. You could, you could feel his presence is missed around here. Is it just different preparing for a game where uh, you're no cutting different. on a guy, but he's not here at all? It, it, it's no different. Um, you know, he's still in the Zoom meetings. He's still in all that type of stuff. So he's still involved. But as far as the, as, uh, the practice aspect of it, it's, it's a little different. But, I mean, at, at the end of the day, we all, you know, we play football. We play pre professional sports. And we know what we're doing in the scheme. And, uh, like I said, we all have a comfortability level with, with each other. That's Whoever's out there, we're going to play fast and, and play for each other. So, um I'm, like I said, I'm excited to get him back. Um, hopefully, you know, I think he's supposed to be coming, coming back pretty soon. I think either tomorrow or Saturday. I'm not too sure on the details. That's, that's out of my realm, but um, I'm definitely excited to get him back. You've seen some quarterbacks who've been running around, Murray and, and Mahomes and things. Did you learn anything about, you know, how Fields tends to bolt out when things start going awry? Or did you learn anything about how he kind of hurts you on the, on the ground in Chicago? Yeah, he's a very he's a very lethal player. Um, he's a, a dual threat that can use his legs very well. Uh, he's a strong strong player that can run through tackles and um, you know make make some make some highlight plays. Um, watching film and even having a chance to play him in our first game, you could tell that he's very he's very decisive at where he wants to go. Once he sees that he shoots it, um, so I, I think for us we're developing a scheme and uh, we're working around the scheme to kind of you know do what we do what we've done with guys like Kyler Murray, um, you know. Patrick Mahomes, whoever else that's that's mobile, 
Um, so I think we have a good plan um, right now, and we'll, we'll see what happens on Sunday or yeah, on Sunday. How, how much? How much are you guys just getting used to facing that type of quarterback? I mean, it's it's Fields again this week. It's going to be Lamar Jackson next week. There's been a whole bunch. Right? Just how much are you getting used to that? Um, I don't think I don't even think we really too much think about it. I mean, we harp on it during meetings and stuff like that, but. It comes down to how, how fast and how hard we play um, and the scheme that's being called. Um, you know, we go out there and play at the level that we were used to playing at um, and, and even more, more energy. Um, I think, you know, I think it, we'll get the job done. It's not, it's not so much focusing on one player. Okay, you know, he can kill us. And they're a great team. They have tangibles all over, all over their team that can, make, that can hurt us. So we just got to continue to do our job. Like I always say, do our 111th, and I think we'll be okay. Was it? Sir, you can go right on Zoom. Yep, just one. See my guard. You go ahead. Now, I was just trying to see, what did y'all see in school when he first got here that made y'all confident he could contribute the way he has? It seems he's caught on rather quickly. Just what was it y'all saw in the practice field, in the meeting rooms, whatever? Um, I can't you know, speak upon too much in the meeting room just because we're, we're separate a lot. But from the time that we are together, you know, he's, he's very dil diligent in what he does as far as um, you know, taking notes, asking questions um, on the field. His work ethic is, you know, is, is, is one of the top. Um, you know, I'm sure most of you guys seen him stuff on social media where he's staying here late nights and being up there with coach and stuff. But, you know, that's, that's just a testament to him and the player that he is and um, how bad he wants it and it's showing.